everybody. This is my grandma Beverly, but we call her Grammy Whammy. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. I am going to be asking my beautiful grandmother questions about slang terms today. <laughs> or rather, we're going to be testing her on some slang terms before she even knows the definition. So I'm sorry, Grammy. It's kind of unfair. She's going to learn a little bit about the words that Gen Z uses and honestly how ridiculous they are. They probably won't sound like what the meaning is, just to warn you. So I'm Gen Z. Which generation are you? <laughs> Do you know? No. No? <laughs> we'll put what generation Grammy is right here. She is, and I'm Gen Z. And so, and so I'm the greatest <laughs> generation. <laughs> oh, she said it here. <laughs> That's true though. Okay, so she's from the greatest generation. <laughs> you definitely use different lingo than I would use. And I'm sure if you sat in on a conversation with me and my friends, you'd probably be like, what? Well, yeah. So, word number one. <laughs> pressed. What does pressed mean? P-R-E-S-S-E-D. Mm-hmm. Pressed. Could you use it in a sentence? Like you say sometimes, pressed for time, stressed. <laughs> you got it. Okay, so Urban Dictionary. Why don't they just say stressed? Defined, <laughs> I don't know, Grandma. I don't know why we do this. So yeah, so pressed means upset or annoyed. That was really good. Okay, so one point for Grammy. That was awesome. Cap and no cap. Means you're wearing a cap and <laughs> what? No. <laughs> oh, uh, uh But that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Do you want to know what it means? Oh, okay. Okay. So cap is like, I'm kidding. Like, I'm just joking. Like, or like, I'm lying even. Um, and then no cap means like, I'm not kidding. Like, I'm not lying to you. No cap. Ghosting. Pretending. <laughs> you're doing something without revealing who you are. That's a really good guess. You really are. That's a good guess. Like you mean like you're pretending to be someone else? Yeah. Or, okay. No, it's not exactly. <laughs> so ghosting is like, it's most commonly used when you're talking to someone, like you're kind of like texting someone, like you're kind of almost going to date them and then, or, or you are dating them and then you just stop texting them or calling them or communicating with them. Okay. You avoid them. That's ghosting. Oh. <laughs> it's like you kind of like disappear like a ghost. You just not very polite. <laughs> don't ghost. That is a piece of advice from Granny Whammy. Ice. 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 Cold. <laughs> <laughs> to ice somebody? To ice somebody. What do you mean by that? Like use it use it in a sentence. To just cut somebody off. Just... Kind of like ghosting? Almost. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I guess. Hmm, to ice somebody. Again, that's a good guess. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> it's not the definition. <laughs> ice is like, like jewelry. Like you've got oh, some like some ice going on. Especially if it's like really nice jewelry. You've got diamonds. Huh? You, yeah, like <laughs> okay. yeah. So jewelry is ice. I thought you were gonna say ice cube. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, I know what an ice cube is. Yeah. That slaps. Not thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> That is like what you think the definition would be. Not lapse. Forgetting. Forgetting. A lapse of memory. <laughs> oh, slaps is what it is. Slaps. Oh, like, oh, I thought you were saying laps. Laps. No, no, no. Slaps. Like that slaps. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Or silly or, you know. Something. So like you're thinking like you'd say, oh, that slaps or like yeah, something that. like that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so it actually means like when something's like really good. Like, you oh. know, you eat a bite of food and it's like your favorite food and you go, mm, that slaps. Like, I honestly don't say that, but a lot of people do. Like, that slaps. Or like a song. Like, oh. the song slaps. Yeah, Maybe this is like a good vocabulary, <laughs> you know, like study session. So if you ever hear a conversation of Gen Z ears, you can be like, I know what they're talking about. <laughs> Bet. Bet? Bet. She would say, oh, I'll bet. And so you're, you're agreeing, you're <laughs> thinking it's true. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Oh, yeah. I'll okay. stop you there because you, you pretty much got it. Like someone says something and you go like, I bet. Like, yeah. Okay. Like that yeah. will happen. You're so extra. 
You're sure. special. Okay, oh, that was cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're above average. I don't know if extra is a compliment or a diss. Like, okay, unnecessarily dramatic. You're going to a drive-thru and you show up in like a, like a, like a full-on <laughs> gown and like heels and your hair is done, yeah. your makeup's done. Like, that would be so extra. So now you know. Now you could be like in your Bible studies. <laughs> She's making kind of extra. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Your friends would be like, what did you just say? <laughs> Beverly, I don't I don't understand what you said. You'd be like, listen. <laughs> yeah. My granddaughter filled me in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm dead. It's commonly said after laughter. You're worn out. <laughs> You're worn out. Tired. <laughs> Again, like it's a stretch. I gave you a really big hint. It's like commonly said right after laughter. It just means you thought that was so funny. Oh. But it's supposed to mean like, like I'm rolling on the floor oh, of like okay. laughter, like I'm dead. Tickled but, to death. <laughs> oh, that's such a cute way to put it. Why don't we say tickled to death? I am tickled. <gasps> Wait, do people say that? I'm tickled. I'm tickled to death. Yeah, that's a Aww. term. Take the L or like I took the L or we took the L. A train. <laughs> Is that? That's a train. That's a train. A disappointment. A uh, low road. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. L means loss. Like we lost. Oh, so like we okay. took the L. Spilling the tea. Telling the secret. Yes, that is what it is. You got it. Oh. Did they say that like no. before? In <laughs> but spill generations? the beans. Oh, so we stole it and we changed it just Beans a little bit. Tea. Okay. She glowed up. <laughs> or I went through a glow up. A makeover? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Fit. I mean, physically fit. <laughs> adequate. <laughs> For fit? Like F I T? Wait, what? Why did you think adequate? Fit. You're adequate. You're okay. in good. Okay. Health. Yeah, I like it. Your train of thought is more intelligent. <laughs> um, okay, so what they did was they took the last three letters of a word. It means the exact same thing, but they just, now we just say, sometimes, the last three letters <laughs> of the word. Misfit. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Grandma, when I walked in today, I said, you look really nice and all purple. I love your purple. Outfit. Fit. Your outfit. Full send. Use it in a sentence. She went full send on that. And she or went like, all out. Exactly. <laughs> Grandma's racking in the points right now. <laughs> oh, this is a really good one. This is common, and I even use this one, so it's good to know. High key. Top of the line. Top of the, explain it. Top of the line. Things you buy. Well, this is the top of the line. This is the best. That makes sense. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do we use the terms that we use? I don't even know. And okay. maybe, maybe I could use it Tell in a me what, what. High key, I think he likes me. <laughs> so he was That's high key flirting with me. Um, real, he was really. <laughs> now, what does finna mean? F I N N A, finna. The end. <laughs> Finished. Yeah. Oh, this one's a hard one. Do you want me to use it in a sentence? Yeah. Is it? it replaces a word. I'm finna go shopping. I'm going to go? Yeah, right. <laughs> Why else did you say I'm What going? it means? I have no idea. <laughs> That's a big mood. Or sometimes underneath like videos or photos or anything like that, someone will just comment big mood. Too much information. <laughs> Too much information. TMO. You know that one. <laughs> uh, it means relatable. Oh, like, well. that is so relatable, pretty okay. much. It doesn't even really make sense. <laughs> I guess it means like big, like that's like a common mood. Oh, okay. Like okay. it's relatable, but. Chuggy. What? Ch <laughs> Spell it. <laughs> okay, I could be spelling this wrong, but I think it's C-H-E-U-G-I-E. -E. Use it in a sentence. <laughs> okay, I feel like I have to, because I had to have someone explain this to me. Crocs are kind of chuggy. <laughs> They're... They're really, they're really rad. 
<laughs> oh, really? Okay. They're really stylish. There. Really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> let me let me use it one more time. Horse t-shirts, which is like you know a t-shirt with like a horse on it. Those are chooky. Not stylish. <laughs> so like opposite of your first answer. Oh, like, not okay. Like not not it. Not cool. Not in. Oh, okay. Also, I'm gonna throw in one more just because I mentioned it. A horse girl. <laughs> a horse girl. Yeah. Melina was a horse girl. <laughs> <laughs> she was little. She was always pretending to be a horse. Girl. <laughs> okay. uh, you gotta cut that. <laughs> I was a horse girl, and horse girls are chooky. Okay. Do you know what a meme is? Oh, I have heard that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's know. an old one, but it's still used, and it's they're still done. It's hard to explain to me. Why don't you a joke? <laughs> exactly. Horse girl was a meme. <laughs> Back in action. SD card, you know, ran out of storage. Cause we're she's learning so many words. So it's a but good I probably thing. won't remember. Me. This is the I point of this grandma. <laughs> Sus. Suspect. Okay. Yeah. Suspect. <laughs> Suspect. That is literally where it comes from. Sus. That was really good. Like I said, <laughs> Grammy's practically a Gen Z-er. <laughs> Fire. Fire? Fire. I'm not even gonna use this one in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> He's hot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you could pair two of them together. That's a fire fit. It just, oh, okay. fire can honestly be kind of like, like that slaps, like this is like really good. Oh, okay. It's like, that's a fire fit. Or like, this is like flames if you're eating some food or something like that. <laughs> Snatched. 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 <laughs> Snatched. She's with it. She's she's looking. She's got it. <laughs> Honestly, normally it means about like someone's body. Like if, uh, if you're looking more fit recently or something like that, people normally say oh, she's okay. snatched. Well, I was trying to... Grandma, what does subscribe mean? It means you should subscribe to this video right now. <laughs>